Good afternoon to you all, dear students. By the way, success with all the exams that are awaiting. Dear colleagues, so pity that we are not together in the main hall of our beautiful university. Alumni um, and other friends of Tilburg University, on behalf of the executive board and the deans, a happy new year. Of course, we would have been thrilled to meet each other in person. And again, it's not possible. And we can feel with it the disappointment. We have hoped so much that we could have a normal, a decent New Year's reception with all the opportunities to meet each other, to exchange inspiring ideas and so on. It's not possible. Nevertheless, the year has started optimistically for Tilburg University. Let me special, especially name Kim Rovers, Sander Verhaag, Nicola Pavanini and Philip Paymont. They got really good news from Brussels. Great research grants for our beautiful university. Engaging in courageous research. Yes, indeed, it's a very weird time. And we feel very sorry for all of us that you will suffer from this crisis. Let's be honest, it's nasty. It's not nice at all, again, to be in confinement, to have limitations of all kinds. That's not how we would have started this new year, especially a year, I look into Jan Tien, who will present some of elements of the strategy together with our deans in this New Year's reception. It would have been lovely to see you all. Deploying all kinds of social activities is not, you know, a kind of luxury fringe of a university. It's, in a way, the essence of, his, of it. Because, you know, meeting each other, exchanging inspiring ideas, is core business. And that's what we want to do time and again at Stilbeck University, moving up to our first centennial in 27. Jan Tin will say a few words afterwards with the deans together on what main plans we have to make another centennial for our university possible. But now indeed, you know, we have been challenged. And let me first of all say that we are extremely proud of you students and you members, colleagues of our staff, because what we have done last year is enormous. In this, well, nasty crisis, I said, this villain virus that is impeding us for doing the job as we should do, still we managed to get things going on. There was research, there was excellent education. Some of us reached out to society to be significant in all kinds of domains, and it's so important that we were able to do so. And we are excited that we will continue with this and that we will have the opportunity opportunity let me just stop a little bit yes we can go on uh, we are not here in the main hall I said already uh, but uh, I hope that we will be able to uh, have our second opportunity when we will have the Dies Natalis on the 16th of June it's not our real birthday but we all need the opportunity of a good party together and we will make sure we keep up with all that we have missed. On the other hand, I would stress that we indeed are challenged. You know, the COVID crisis is not just a crisis, it's a way to look anew on what society needs. And then uh, Tilburg University, that we have as, as our motto, understanding society, will have a hard time to reassess all the things that are going on in society. It's intriguing to see how not only COVID, but also digitalization is challenging us as a university community. And there again, we are very optimistic because all the work that has been done to keep education going, to educate students, to do excellent research, was really thanks to all the great efforts that you have been uh, deploying for us. But also we discovered that it's challenging us in another way. The digitalization, one of the main themes in our strategic plan that will come up later, is not, you know, just something that passes away or that was there in the crisis. It's a structural trend in society that is not only affecting man and society that we study, but it's also a kind of great transformation in Polanyi's sense that challenged the university as an institution. So we will to be ready. We will be challenged by our environments, the different environments we have, and we have to be prepared to be ready for that. And there again, you know, studying man and society is one of the challenges that we are, well, you know, keeping up doing with vigorous, good research, with high quality education for you students. 
And then again, it's nice to see, Lauren, that one of these students is here with us today. And it's not just a student. I'm honored to present on the occasion of this you know, annual reception for the next year, 0 2022, our 20,000th student. Lauren, it's an honor for me to introduce to you, and we will have a chat uh, talk afterwards, but first of all, there is a little movie. We are Tilburg University, Lauren. Welcome here. We would have loved to have all the nominees, the students that were around you, you know, 99,000, etc. But we, due to COVID, have to restrict the audience here in, the, in this hall. But you were the 20,000th student of Tilburg University. And before I will invite you to say a few words of it. We want not just have this as one single moment, but we want to eternalize it in a sense in our university building. So we have prepared something and we have to gather the honor to unveil it. Are you ready? I'm ready, definitely. Th there we go. Well, just pull. Well, thank you so much, and I feel a little applause in the little audience. Um, Lauren, in a sense, you can say it's just a coincidence that you were number 20,000, but how does it feel to be the representative of all these generations of students that have passed Tilburg University and that will not stop to come here? Yes, I'm very happy to represent uh, all the 20,000 students at Tilburg University. I think this university is very diverse and I really enjoy the atmosphere on the campus. Um, since the university is so diverse, we can learn a lot from each other and we can uh, communicate uh, with each other and uh, by listening we can um, uh, understand each other's view and um, help each other grow in the future. So I'm really Looking forward to that and looking forward to um, be studying here with all my fellow students. Well, again, congratulations. Let me just, you're a student. And I was just told you're a student in strategic management in the School of Tyson, and you were earlier on in the School of Social Sciences and Behavioral Sciences in our university. We are also, and we'll come back on that later, on strategy. What, what is your viewpoint on how your student life and all these diverse communities relate to what strategy should do or should be? I think uh, strategy is um, an aspect of the, the whole organization that is crucial for, for us all to, to be here and uh, be our best selves. Um, the strategy will um, help us to uh, get a hold on the future and since the future is very une unexpected that the strategy can help us to um, yeah, get a hold on that and um, hope we can do well in the future and also grow and maybe in a couple of years have much more students than 20,000. Yeah, well, sure we do. Uh, we pre are preparing ourselves for the next centennial. It's good that you say that, you know, adding multiple perspectives perhaps makes us more resilient to, uh, well, to, well, not forecast, but to get to know how we handle that difficult future in that difficult society of ours that we try to understand. Again, congratulations. Happy that you are here as a representative of the students and the 20,000. And of course, we have a little present for you later, but thank you so much for being with us here. Now, I think I hand over to Jantin, who will say a few words about our strategic plan. Jantin, go ahead. Thank you very much, Wim. Yeah, today we not only celebrate a new year, but we also celebrate our new strategic plan. And about a year ago, we started with the whole process. And, and when I say uh, we, I mean the executive board together with all the deans and with Rob van Hensberg as the project leader. 
But already from the beginning, we uh, involved a lot of other people, students, staff, both scientific and non-scientific, but also our alumni, to really make sure that the new strategic plan is also really very well based. And it was very clear to us that from the beginning that the alignment with the, from the university strategic plan with those of the schools is very important. So therefore we all really, all, all of us said, we have to do this together and that's also what we did. And we organized the so-called deliberation tables uh, in which groups of people from all over the universities, from all layers, discussed a number of themes. And the themes we as an executive board, but also together with the dean said, these are important themes for the new strategic plan. And of course, there are, there are different uh, uh, examples. For, exa uh, for example, digitalization, and we've already mentioned it, but also post-executive training. What important research themes are important for our university, but also how do we connect to our ecosystem? And everyone we asked was willing to participate and willing to contribute. There was really a great enthusiasm and also connection with uh, the people and dedication to find and formulate important questions for the future and also finding answers, uh, ways of answering them. So the outcomes of these deliberation tables were also discussed at the speech 2027 and also uh, are now part of our new strategic plan. But we also wanted to involve uh, less usual, so more the unusual suspect in the process. So what we did is we drew a sample of 100 people from our students, from alumni, but also from our staff and asked them to uh, also help us to form our strategic plan. And also there we found a lot of people who really told us what Tilburg Unity Tilburg University makes the university we want to be and what it is and what our values are, how we want to work together and also what makes it what it is today. And also there we found a lot of commitment and enthusiasm and um, also to, to do the right thing and also to let everyone participate and to contribute. So we are very, very grateful as an executive board and also together with the deans for all this participation. So there were hundreds of people who were involved from our own community and we are very proud that we have done it with ourselves with, uh, in our community and also that we are also very proud of Rob von Hensberg who was actually the leader of it and who pulled it all together. But of course, you, we don't live only with our own community. We also ask people from outside, people, our academic peers from other universities, uh, CEOs of co large companies, but also local organizations. And then we ask them to reflect on our ideas and also to give input for our strategic plan. So uh, we believe that the whole process was really beautiful and also led to our new strategic plan. And I specifically speak now about the process because we will show you in a minute a video in which we say more about the content of our strategic plan. And the plan that we present today is called Weaving Minds and Characters. And it describes our university strategy and what we think is needed to prepare ourselves to the next centennial. Because Wim already said in 2027, our university is, uh, will celebrate its 100th year, uh, anniversary. And in our strategy, our values are central. Values that are intertwined with each other and with the university. And values that guide our behavior, but also choices in education and research. And these values are curious, caring, connected and courageous. So we are very happy to show you a video in which our new strategic plan is presented. We are challenged. We worden uitgedaagd door een wereld waarin zelfs veranderingen veranderen. We zijn ambitieus en willen een goede universiteit zijn en blijven. We leiden onze studenten op tot leiders van de toekomst. Betrokken mensen die van betekenis zijn voor de samenleving en die daarop ook reflecteren. Vier waarden inspireren ons op weg naar ons 100-jarig bestaan. Samen maken we deze waarden waar. Ze geven richting aan ons handelen en onze keuzes. Curious. Steeds meer interactie tussen intelligente machines, intelligente systemen hm. en de mens met zijn eigen hele specifieke ja. uh, cognitieve functies en psychologische functies. En die kunnen beide profiteren. 
van die technologie. Nog ouder wordt is uh, kennisdeling uh, relevanter. Dus als je dat op die manier dan in zou richten, denk ik dat je een brede publiek aanspreekt. We zijn voortdurend op zoek naar nieuwe kennis en inzichten bij onze studie van mens en maatschappij. Nieuwsgierigheid stimuleren we via ons unieke onderwijsprofiel, waarin kennis, kunde en karakter centraal staan. Naast vorming op het gebied van filosofie en ethiek, vraagt de huidige tijd om nieuwe kennis van digital sciences. In international classrooms ontmoeten Nederlandse en buitenlandse studenten elkaar. Via Blended Learning studeren zij op hun eigen manier, individueel en in dialoog met elkaar. Ook na het afstuderen blijft de nieuwsgierigheid. Een leven lang leren wordt onze vierde kerntaak. Caring. De universiteit is al heel erg bezig met studenten klaarstomen voor de toekomst. Maar ook uh, klaarstomen voor wat je sociaal en wat je ja. voor je vrienden en, uh, en je familie en je medemens moet doen. Ik, ik zou het persoonlijk contact sowieso, sowieso behouden. Dat moeten we niet, uh, niet verliezen. Tilburg University is een gemeenschap waar we elkaar kennen en waarderen. Veilig, inclusief en divers. We respecteren elkaar en onze omgeving. Menselijke waardigheid en duurzaamheid zijn uitgangspunt in onze besluiten en handelen. We hebben aandacht voor studentenwelzijn en werkdruk voor medewerkers. Onze campus is een bruisende, groene en gezonde omgeving. Hier komen gemeenschapsgevoel en ontmoetingen tot bloei. Connected. Oké, okay, hoe kun je het best leren samenwerken? Als dat is met iemand van een andere opleiding of iemand zelfs van het hbo of, of, ja. of gewoon echt in teams samenwerken voor iets, iets wat totaal niet met jouw studie te maken heeft. Dat dan dat samenwerken echt centraal staat in ja. plaats van het er even bij pakken bij, uh, bij je ja. opleiding. De universiteit uh, beweegt de stad in, beweegt ja. de samenleving in. Um, en gaat zo in veel meer in treedt zo in veel meer interactie met het bedrijfsleven, maar ook met andere uh, maatschappelijke partners. En ik denk dat dat een hele belangrijke en goede ontwikkeling is. Dan heeft de Tilburg University toch een heel mooi arsenaal, hun, waar zij allemaal uh, actief in zijn, is, sluit heel goed aan op de behoeftes die een ziekenhuis heeft. Dat netwerk samen ontginnen en dat niet incidenteel doen, maar structureel en daar gewoon bij wijze van spreken voor tien jaar afspraken over maken, daar ben ik wel voor in de markt, zeg ik dan maar. We zijn verbonden met de samenleving, met andere disciplines en andere culturen. We omarmen variëteit en leren van andere perspectieven en disciplines. We werken samen met partners in regionale, nationale en internationale ecosystemen. Wanneer onze sterke disciplines interdisciplinair samenwerken, kunnen we nog meer van betekenis zijn. Onder het motto Brede Welvaart zetten we extra in op drie interdisciplinaire onderzoeksthema's. De duurzaamheidstransitie, ongelijkheid en welzijn en gezondheid. Team Science wordt meer en meer staande praktijk op onze onderzoeksgebieden. Sociale ondernemerschap van medewerkers en studenten blijven we ondersteunen. In de verbinding tussen onderwijs, onderzoek en onze omgeving vindt kennis haar weg. Courageous. En die professionals die kunnen hun werk goed doen, dan worden die studenten goed afgeleverd. Daar hebben we niet heel veel regels voor nodig. De technieken die ons in staat kunnen stellen om juist onze impact makkelijker te kunnen meten en te presenteren. Ik denk dat het juist kan helpen als je dan een, een samenwerkingsverband hebt met het bedrijfsleven, waarin je inderdaad ook data uit het bedrijfsleven kunt halen, waarin je problematieken waar, het, waar de bedrijven mee ja, worstelen, waar ze over vijf of tien jaar last van hebben en ook in hun bedrijfsvoering last van hebben, dat jij zegt nou daar hebben we oplossingen voor, daar kunnen we naar kijken, daar kunnen we samen aan gaan werken. We hebben de moed om ver te reiken en onze eigen weg te gaan. We dagen elkaar uit, vertrouwen elkaar en geven elkaar de ruimte. Ook om van onze fouten te leren. We stellen ambitieuze doelen op het gebied van duurzaamheid. Het University College wordt een gemeenschappelijk programma met een sterke aansluiting bij de Sustainable Development Goals. Stabilisatie in studentenaantallen grijpen we aan om kleinschaligheid en kwaliteit goed te borgen. We zetten in op een verbetering van onze studentstaf ratio. We investeren in betere stuurinformatie en informatiesystemen. Een programma ontknopen en ontzorgen gaat letterlijk ontregelen. Moedig zijn we ook in onze productieve onrust. 
Kritisch en onafhankelijk reflecteren we op schijnbare zekerheden en vanzelfsprekendheden. Samen ontwikkelen we ideeën voor een betere samenleving en goed leven voor iedereen. Moedig zijn we. Kritisch, onafhankelijk en daadkrachtig. Weaving minds and characters. Nieuwsgierig, zorgzaam, verbonden en moedig zijn we op weg naar ons eeuwfeest in 2027. Klaar voor ons tweede centennium. Onderweg leren we van alles wat we ondernemen. We vinden antwoorden op nieuwe ontwikkelingen en scherpen onze plannen daar weer op aan. Dat doen we in verwevenheid met elkaar en de samenleving. Weaving Minds and Characters Good afternoon. My name is Piet van Ierland and with me in the studio joined the deans of the schools of Tilburg University. And together we're going to look further on the strategic plan presented right now. Uh, I suppose I can imagine that the video ran a little bit quick. And from now on you can uh, watch this video anytime you like on the special strategy website tilburguniversity.edu and then about Tilburg University or the same link as the link which you, which you use to look at this webinar. Um, on the same website you can also read the full report, the full strategy written out and I will highly recommend also to look at the interviews that our alumna Dionne Stax held with diverse stakeholders which you saw quoted in this video as well. But for now to the strategy. Uh, my first question will go to Henk Witte. He's the Dean of Tilburg School of Catholic Theology. And the uh, strategy has been written um, based upon four values. What does this mean to you, uh, this setup and this value specifically? Uh, dear Pete, it, uh, I like that the values are, the are giving structure and guiding us in our strategic plan. Uh, because values say, say how we do the things we do and it, sh it, it shows that this how is even as important as is what we do. Uh, also, f when I look for the future, it is important to give our students a sense of how you are doing the things. Are you connected in doing the things you do? Are you curious? Are you courageous? And are you caring for, for all who are important to you? So, this, this makes for me uh, living here in, in Tilburg and, and, and connected with this university. I was one of the students 1260 yeah, once. <laughs> uh, that, that means that, 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 that we are giving our people uh, tools to think about the meaningfulness of life, work, and so on. And that's, my, yeah, that I like it. So from Thanks. now on, we'll try to be as courageous, caring, connected and curious as we can all the time. Thanks for that, Henk. Next to you is Lex, Lex Meidam, Dean of Tilburg School of Economics and Management. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis in this plan on recognition and rewards, working together with diverse talents, diverse disciplines. Um, how, this, how will this affect uh, the work in your school? Uh, I think it will affect the work in my school very much. Uh, we formulated an ambitious strategy, both as a university as as a school. And we need all the talents that we have to realize uh, this strategy. And as you already said, uh, we are very diverse. We have a very diverse pool of uh, talents. Um, so we need to make sure that all these talents feel included in the, in the community uh, and that they feel recognized and rewarded in order to be maximally productive. Um, and that's in a broad sense. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, research is an important factor in academic careers, and of course that will remain. But there are many other aspects that are important. Education, leadership, uh, impact. And, and if you re we really want to realize our strategy, then we also need to value, reward, recognize contributions in these respects. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important that people have the possibility to, to, diver, to uh, develop in various directions, to have their various accents in their careers or very, in various stages in their careers in order to be maximally productive and uh, contribute maximally to, 
the mm -hmm. uh, strategy that we have, we have formulated, both the school and the university. So our, our, all our talents are connected in that kind of way. Yeah, ideally they are connected. The, the team size is an important word here. They, uh, of course, research to some extent is individual or, and mm -hmm. will remain individual, but it's also been very important that researchers work in teams, both teams in the school, but also teams in other schools, interdisciplinary teams, really want to address the challenges that, that we face as, you, as, as a society. They really need to, to work together in, in multidisciplinary teams. Okay. So and also their connectedness is an important element of the strategy. Thank you very much. Switching over to Lauren, our 20,000 students. Uh, of course, we know that uh, the corona crisis has a huge impact on student life. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on students' well-being in, uh, in this strategy as well. What do you miss the most uh, in, this in these times, studying? Well, what I think I miss the most is uh, the connection with uh, fellow students and with professors. Uh, that really changed during the coronavirus. And um, uh, when we work together with a group, it is much more easy to work in real life than via Zoom. Um, and I'm really looking forward to being on campus more often and um, learn from each other. So um, that, yeah, the, the, the real life interaction is what I miss the most. Okay, so the plan of being, uh, building an even more uh, uh, attractive campus with uh, a lot of opportunities to meet each other will, uh, uh, is interesting to you then? Yes, definitely. I enjoy the campus uh, very much. I think there are a lot of uh, nice workplaces and I uh, very often go to the university to study um, on my own or with a group and uh, I think it's a great place to uh, focus on school and uh, yeah. Great. Let's hope that we can do that very soon together again. Okay. Lex Maidam is next. Uh, of, uh, sorry, we had Lex already. Jenke de Rost is standing next to me. Um, in the video also said uh, that uh, lifelong learning will be our fourth core task. Um, what do our uh, alumni and other stakeholders uh, uh, experience from that in a few years? Okay. Well, I think there are a lot of challenges and changes in society as a whole at a very high pace nowadays. Mm -hmm. So learning won't stop when you are leaving this university. Um, and that implies that as an, as, as an alumnus of this university, you have to continuously develop yourself with respect to knowledge, with respect to skills, with respect to uh, competencies. Mm -hmm. Well, in that respect, I think what was one of the most important outcomes also from this strategic plan and what, of, what will be one of the, yeah, the fourth core competency of this university, is lifelong learning and development, well, in close collaboration between TIAS as the Business School of the University and Tilburg University, mm -hmm. we hope and we, we will offer a nice portfolio of uh, lifelong learning and uh, lifelong learning uh, programs so that we can continuously develop our alumni in the future. And we hope to have this portfolio ready within yeah, one or two years. Great. Looking forward to it as an alumni myself. Yeah. You're welcome. Next to you is Antoinette de Bond, Dean of uh, Social, uh, Social Behaviour, the School of Social Behaviour. Um, uh, also a lot of uh, emphasis on working together with external stakeholders, uh, external parties on joint researches and uh, in uh, academic work spaces. Can you give us a few examples of, uh, on, on these uh, uh, collaborations? So one of the key examples are the academic collaborative centers. And there it's important that we are in contact with, with partners, external partners, because our aim is to understand society. And we want to understand society in, in challenging and confusing times. And then the first thing is important that they understand us and we understand them. So that's the basic. And then it's important, the next step, because in this strategic plan we want to go further than sharing knowledge. We also want to be inspired by their agenda and the sources they have to set our agenda for research. So that interaction, what are relevant questions, what is the contribution of science, that is what we want to do in this strategy. And that requires long-term collaboration with uh, non-academic partners, and that's what we do in the academic centers. So Tranzo and my faculty is a, a center on healthcare, and they do beautiful things on long-term, and they together they set the agenda. Combining fundamental research with applied research. Thank you very much. And last is uh, Jantine. 
um, uh, the, the team of digital sciences. You can read about, all about it in the strategic plan. Um, why this emphasis on uh, digital science? Are we, as, as a staff and students, all are going to learn and be trained in digital sciences? And why this important? Yeah. Well, digital sciences is here to stay. Uh, yeah, every, everywhere is digitalization. So, uh, and as a human uh, and also behavioral and societal uh, university, we really believe it's very important that we take this theme as a ma major theme in our strategic plan. And yes, uh, we actually want all the students, all our students who leave our university to have digital competences, that they know how to program and that they can use it. But we also use digital sciences in our research. And in that respect, it's also important to, to learn uh, and also learn our students, but also our staff, that if you use digital sciences or all, the, all kind of methodology, that you have to do it in a critical and in a good way. So it's not just use all data, but also look at it very critically. So that is also one of the things. So it's very important. And, and, and the, the third thing, which is very important, is um, uh, digitalization has big impact on our society. So uh, we want to learn and also create programs that look at how does digitalization change our society or what does it do with behavior of people or how can we uh, what what does it do to the maybe the inequity in the society or uh, these kind of questions i think uh, are are very important so so it's not only uh, innovation uh, with digitalization or uh, innovation in digitalization but also reflection on digital uh, di di yeah digital sciences or digitalization in, in the general so as a societal issue okay thank you last whim you're standing uh, be below the the artwork called weaving minds and characters the same title we gave to the this strategic plan uh, can you say a little bit about the metaphor Yes, uh, of course, thank you so much. Well, you see a beautiful uh, piece of art, Sigrid Kalom. Uh, it's representing an important tradition of a university to connect art and science. And I think both are about imagination, thinking anew and thinking differently. And that's what we aim for our students. But it's not only thinking, it's the heart, it's the mind, it's character. And we are forming, well, people that will have most probably very important responsibilities in that future society of ours that's so, like Antoinette said, so difficult to understand sometimes. But, you know, like Henk already said, um, I think, you know, we are a university that has an opinion about character building as an important value in its own, in your student life. And that's why Lauren said that she misses so much the real interaction. And of course, I repeat it, I've said, it's very clear, the digitalization will, inf will well, you know, change the way we do research. It will affect the way we teach. But then again, it's perhaps more important than ever to reflect on who will you become? Who will you are and why? The what is important, but the how is important as such. And very importantly so in a society in which we witness a kind of climate change, but also a social climate change. And I think understanding society is also contributing to the knowledge of how we should, you know, invest in people that are responsible citizens, that are, you know, looking, taking care for each other, that are committed to the future of society. And character building is one of these things that you experience at the university. So it's minds and characters, and it's also a nice reflection. We bear the name of the city of Tilburg. Tilburg is a textile industry city, but in our museum, and that's very funny, you look not only upon the history of textile, but on the future, because the most modern digital machines are in our museum. So weaving characters and minds is also in honor of the city that we serve as a university too. And of course, we hope that the city is one of our connected partners, and it is, of course. And this, in this way, we're weaving all the plans and ideas together. And in networks and, and so on, yeah. Very beautiful. I would like to invite you all to go to the website of the strategy, tilburguniversity.edu slash about Tilburg University and read all about it. The, um, discuss with us the ideas you have, the plans, uh, read the plans, give us your thoughts and, and let's make it work together. This is only a short presentation about it, but the next coming years we will definitely 
her, uh, learn and do more about it. And um, for this moment, we, we close the session, but I first I want to give the words to Wim. Thank you so much, because, you know, thank you so much, Pete, and thanks, Rob, again, you know, in the backstage over there, one of these people in our academic community has contributed so much to make this uh, happen. But we all feel, you know, this is not a real thing. Being digitally present on your screen, we miss our colleague, Pauline, Paulina uh, Snijders, who is at home in quarantine. Some of our deans are missing. Geert, when you are looking, I know your father will be 90 years old. That's at, well, at least as old that our university is. So congratulations to your father. And we miss you here. And the other, Boudewijn, is not here. But we, we miss you too, all our colleagues and our students. So, you know, it's, it's, it feels like not the real thing, Lauren. Like you said, we missed the real interaction, but still we took the opportunity to say hello to you all and to wish you a very good and prosperous and healthy new year. And I hope so that next year we will have a decent you know, way of greeting each other for wishing us a happy new year. And of course, I hope that we can see each other the 16th of June when we have the retarded party of the 94th anniversary of our university. But nevertheless, to make it a little bit more real, we thought it would have been a good idea. Pete, oh, everybody has, yes, there is one for you too. Of course, it is not a real thing, but you know, having a toast to our Tilburg University, to all of you, good, healthy, prosperous new year, and thank you for being with us. All the best for the next year, and see you soon, hopefully here on campus. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Namens de bevolking wens ik iedereen die werkzaam is op de universiteit of studeert op de universiteit een gezond 2022. En zoals jullie weten staan wij gewoon voor 2022 ook klaar voor iedereen met vragen. Hoi allemaal, ik wil jullie namens het hele bestuur van Top graag een gelukkig nieuwjaar wensen. En wij hopen als bestuur dat we jullie volgend jaar in januari en in augustus weer mogen verwelkomen hier in Tilburg. En happy new year from the sports center. Stay fit, stay healthy and keep moving. Happy new year. Namens fractie Sam willen wij iedereen een heel fijn uh, gelukkig nieuwjaar wensen en een voorspoedig 2022. Happy New Year! Hola! Feliz Navidad y prospero año nuevo! Volgende jaar, nieuwe kansen! Iedereen mag gewoon lekker bij ons komen eten. We hebben gewoon super lekker dingen om jullie te verwennen. 2022, jongens, jullie krijgen een lekker volle bijtje. Lekker van ons. In naam van mijn collega's zijn jullie welkom. Bienvenidos! Hasta la vista! Happy, Happy New Year! Year. On behalf of Front, we hope that everyone has an amazing year last year and are uh, fresh again for the next year and hopefully we can see you all back on campus again. Happy, Happy New Year! Namens uh, alle medewerkers van de bibliotheek wil ik jullie een geweldige 2022 toewensen en we hopen jullie allemaal hier in de bibliotheek te kunnen verwelkomen zonder allerlei beperkingen. Wij wensen alle studenten een gelukkig 2022. Uh, we want to wish all students and staff of Tilburg University a great new year. Vanaf de 11e in Koopmans een heel gelukkig nieuwjaar en hopelijk hebben we dit jaar weer een enorm bruisende kans. Happy New Year! Proost op 2022!